Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise. This is a weekly vlog. Um, it is Saturday, it's 26. Yes, it's the 26th of June and it is 10 past one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the start of my weekly vlog. It makes a change for me to start it on a Saturday. <laughs> um, I did end the last one yesterday. I haven't edited it yet. I will do that over the weekend at some point. Um, but I was just looking back on some of my old vlogs from um, my other channel which is just Denise Dear um, and I've vlogged so much more <laughs> than I do nowadays um, where I just sort of forget and then I don't know I, I just I don't know I just forget where before I was like vlogging bits and pieces throughout the day and even weekly vlogging I was still sort of picking up the camera a few times a day uh, but Anyway, that is, by the by, it's, that's what was done. But I think also it doesn't help that, obviously, where we don't go out that much anymore, um, I don't really see that many people. <laughs> uh, we're not really allowed out as such. So, yeah, it, that doesn't really help. Um, but I do want to get back into the swing of things. Uh, we'll just see how it goes, basically. Um, I've been knitting on my cowl. I have two colours left to go into to put into it and then I can go on to the striping sequen sequence of it but it's really really long and I am loving it so from that red marker is where I was um, a week ago or just a, just under a week ago when I last podcasted um, so yeah I'm really enjoying knitting on that and I've got some plans for some other bits and pieces that I do want to start but we shall just see how that goes because I'm not pressure pressurising myself um, Ian's at the garage he we went there yesterday I did vlog didn't I yes he we went there yesterday um, and he didn't get finished what he was doing so he said to me do I want to go today and I was like not really can I just stay at home and he was like yeah that's fine um, so I'm home, he's at the garage, um, it's quite warm, I say quite warm, it's 22 degrees, <laughs> it's a nice day, uh, not like yesterday where it was absolutely pouring with rain, but um, today is quite nice and warm-ish, <laughs> uh, so yeah I'm just watching some YouTube, I have started watching Wanted that's on Netflix, um, I think we watched the first two episodes yesterday um I don't know whether Ian will carry on watching it or not but I might just watch it without him and if he wants to watch it he can catch up um so yeah I can watch that while he's at work and things but uh yeah so I'm gonna carry on working on this and I'll probably do a couple of rows on my blanket or the, the baby blanket today and see what else happens because I'm really not sure so that's the other thing that I wanted to mention that I completely forgot about, that I received my um, Woolly Goodness Yarn Colours of 2021 Club <laughs> today. So this is the little um, card that came with it. Um, and this was June's Club, and June's Club was Peach. Um, so I got a really, I think this is their business card maybe, um, I got a really lovely stitch marker, which is on a lever back which is really really nice um, and then in this box it's three um, 10 gram minis uh, so let me pull them out so there's a variegated a tonal and a speckled I think that's what it is yeah so peach is the starting point for them all and this is what they look like so this is the tonal I would have thought as it is or variegated I think this might be the variegated I don't know <laughs> uh, so this is sort of got like a little bit of pink in it as well which is really really nice this one is just peach all over so is this what you call tonal not sure and then this is the speckled one this one is really pretty and it's got like speckles of pinks and yellows in it um, and orange so yeah they are 
really really nice I'm gonna keep them they come in a little box um, so I'm going to keep them in the box just for now and I believe the next month's is going live um, 28th of June I think um, did it say on here? 28th of June with a brand new colour for uh, July so I'm going to see what the inspiration or the uh, colour for that is and um, yeah so, oh, sorry, I've got a really itchy eye. I think I paid five fifty for this box, so it's a monthly box, five pound fifty, and it comes with a little stitch marker, and I think that is really, really good. Uh, so I might get the next one and see, like I said, see what the colour is. Um, but I thought that was really cute, and I really like that it can be used for like heel toes and or heels, toes, cuffs, or whatever. You, you decide to make really um I was thinking of making a um what do they call it a scrappy what do they call it the squares scrappy blanket I can't remember but basically you knit squares <laughs> and then you make it into a blanket but then I'm thinking oh my god another blanket I don't really need another blanket on the like not on the go but I don't need another blanket I've got a couple here um, I've got a couple in the loft um, but then it would be a four ply blanket so it would be like a, a a lighter blanket and then, oh I don't know <laughs> so I've sort of scrapped that idea I was thinking about it for like I was thinking about it last week and I was like no 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 just just not do that at the moment I've got I, I just don't want to overwhelm myself um, I need to wash my hair but I've just bunged it up uh, into a ponytail because I can't be bothered. Really can't be bothered. And yeah, it's one of them things that always... I just bung it up, if anything. <laughs> I was watching videos where my hair was really short. And I really did like it. But I don't think I can handle that again. I love my long hair that I can just put up in a bun if I really wanted to. Not that you can see, but put it in a messy bun, things. Oh, I've got it caught in my watch. Um, yeah, and just sort of do whatever I want with it, and can have it curly, can have it straight. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm rambling. I just thought I'd quickly show you the yarn. So a lot later on. Excuse the um, terrible angle that I've got you at, but um, I have finished knitting all of the colours into this um, cowl, and I couldn't be happier. But I was thinking of uh, striping all of these colours. So now they're all in this little bag. I was thinking of striping them all. And having it basically, probably not double this length obviously because I've got the colours in between. Uh, or the, the grey in between. Um, and just having like one half um, roughly striped um, with the colours. But then I was thinking to myself that oh, that might ruin it a little bit. <laughs> uh, I don't really want it like that. So my plan is I have this much of the main colour left, which is not a lot at all, um, as you can see. And so I'm thinking of just randomly pulling out this and seeing if I can get um, a full colour block done. So a full, it's five rows that I do um, in the blocks of colour. And then I thought, well, how long is this actually? Because if it's long enough, um, then I can just stop and then have these little bits left over to make something else. Then I decided to pull out my litmus cowl, which I knitted at the beginning of the year. Somehow it got twisted while I was um, doing it up, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, and I'm not really that bothered. So it's more like a, is it a Mobius cowl, where it's um, twisted, uh, but once it goes around my neck, I don't even notice it. Anyway, so I folded this in half, and I've held it up against this and I haven't really got that much further to go um, and I could probably block this out a little bit and it will come down 
quite a bit. So I'm thinking of basically carrying on with this design um, and going as far as I can with the rest of this yarn. And that will probably give me just enough. So if I put this round my neck, I'll show you what it looks like. There is sort of lots of room in it. So, and that's sort of doubled. So you can see there is still lots of room. And if I had it a bit tighter, it would probably be sort of there to there. And it would be more snug. So I think it will be okay. Um, as it is now. But what... What am I going to do with this? So I might as well use this up. So my thinking is um, putting all this back into the little project bag and just pulling out randomly again a few of the yarns. Um, I might even try and just pick out the, the larger balls because um, not only that, I don't really want any like these ones in there um, or anything that you're not really going to see. I want ones that you can see so like these ones you can really see this one's not too bad this pink um yeah and up here I've done a row so I've done this top row with no gaps like this in it and there's this row that I haven't done any gaps in because it's just too or did I oh I did <laughs> um this green row, I didn't do any gaps in. Um, this row, I definitely did, didn't. Just because it's too busy and you wouldn't even see it anyway. Um, so, and this one, where it was red and purple. So, and I'm hoping it will block out nice and flat. It is sort of crinkling up. Not cr crinkling up, but uh, I want it to lay a bit flatter once it's... Um, been washed and rinsed um, so yeah I'm gonna carry on with as it is um, by just pulling out the yarn and hoping that I will have enough to um, basically <laughs> do another strip of color um, and if it's only five rows then so be it and I might just do like not do the gaps in between like do the little I might not do the little pattern in here so yeah that is my plan but I'm going to put this to one well I'm going to do the next two rows which are just plain grey rows put it to one side and I might do some crochet I might crochet the next colour block on that blanket that I've been working on um, one of the people that I want to make something for um, is actually finding out whether she's having a boy or a girl today um, so that will be good and I've got um, she's got her living room in like a really bright color and I have actually got that color here so I could make it as like a living room blanket I'm not sure but yeah anyway I'm gonna carry on with this see how we get on and um, yeah wish me luck Hello, it's now Sunday um, and it is quarter to five. Um, I've been shopping today. Um, Ian's back at the garage, <laughs> uh, but I've been shopping. I dropped some lunch off to Ian while I was out and I have been working on this cowl and I think I am finally <laughs> finished. Um, so I managed to get five more colours in. So. Let me just see if I can, oh I can do this can't I, put this on the end of the needle just so it doesn't roll around everywhere. So um, this was the last colour, this one was the last colour that I put in so I managed to get one, two, three, four, 
five more colours. I've only done one row of the grey at the top uh, because there is two rows at the bottom which I completely forgot about to be honest. Uh, one, two, oh, there's three, yeah, three rows at the bottom and I completely forgot that um, there's only two rows in between, like I was only going to do two rows in between. So there will be a little bit more of a stripe where I join, but it doesn't really matter because on one of these, like here for instance, here, <laughs> um, it's it looks deeper anyway because of the way the yarn is. So, But it doesn't matter. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, so... This is how long it is doubled. Um, I need to turn it inside out and I need to double knot all of my ends. I'm not going to weave them in. I didn't weave them in for this and I haven't had any problems. Obviously there's a lot more ends in this, um, in this one. But I haven't got or had any problems with my ends. Um, so, yeah, I've still got this one out. Let me show you the length difference if I can hold it up properly so holding it together like that I've got this much difference um, and I can always sort of pull it down a bit so there's not it's not too terrible and I think it will be okay um, and obviously I need this little bit to kitchener the ends up as that's what I'm gonna do I need to um, put to this end back onto a needle I'm probably not going to do that today um I just haven't got I haven't got the energy I'm so tired um I might actually go out for a walk because I'm feeling really tired um and it might wake me up a little bit we're having um, sausage toad for dinner, or toad in the hole. Um, and if you don't know what that is, then it is sausages in Yorkshire pudding. So you, what I am going to do is going to cook the sausages for about 10 minutes in the oven, in a dish, in an oven dish. And then um, mix up the batter. Normally do that about half an hour before, put it in the fridge. Um, and then, yeah, so do that. Then put the sausages in. Then, once the pan's really, really hot with a bit of oil in the bottom, um, just pour on the batter mix and it's sausage toad. <laughs> um, so we're going to have that with some chorizo potatoes. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Whoopsie. Denise, you're on a wobbly table. Um, but yeah, so I've had lunch ages ago. I've got a Dr Pepper Zero. I find this doesn't really taste much different to a normal Dr Pepper, um, so yeah. The only thing with Dr Pepper is it's very gassy. Um, so here are all of the balls that are left over. So these are the ones that I've used, and these are all the ones that I've got left. So even though doing an extra colour, I've still got sort of this small amount of each left over so what I'm thinking is magic doing a magic knot ball but magic knot ball <laughs> whatever a uh, ball with mag uh, yeah that anyway that's what I'm thinking and then I'm thinking I don't know how much is going to be there but I could make like scrappy socks out of them and even if I only had enough to do sort of like the leg and then do the foot in a different colour or something where you can see this um, but depending on how much is there because I will put these little bits in as well depending on how much is there I can always do contrast heels, toes and cuffs so yeah that is what I've been up to today I might go for a walk for 20 minutes or something got three flies in here now I hate flies they drive me mad um so yeah i might go for a walk to wake me up because i'm super tired and then i'm gonna come back prep dinner have a bath <laughs> and that's probably about it 
Oh, my eyes are like... I'm watching um, a series on Netflix. Well, I was watching a series on Netflix called Wanted. About two ladies on the run. Um, but Ian started watching it with me and he got really into it. <laughs> and we watched an ep episode this morning and he went, don't watch it without me. I was like, okay, I'll find something else to watch. Um, so I'm just watching Unsolved Mysteries. I quite like programmes like that. Um, like crime and and that. So yeah, I'm just, just watching that. So I'm going to go to the loo, get my shoes on. Hopefully they won't give me blisters today because I am going to put my trainers on but I've got knitted socks on so hopefully they'll be alright. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go and stop boring you and I'll speak to you next time. Pick up the camera. Excuse the wet hair. Um, I've been out for my walk. Um, I did 44 minutes and that um, took me two miles. So I was really, really pleased that. Um, I literally... Um, sort of walked out of here and then up the road a mile away <laughs> is a big roundabout um, so I walked up to that and I was going to walk round the block and I just thought to myself no I just walk back because <laughs> I think it would have taken me sort of a really really long way, way round um, so yeah I really enjoyed my walk it was really nice um, but I got back I was so hot really really hot um, it got really, really hot and muggy all of a sudden. So, um, yeah, I had a shower. I have washed my hair. Um, I'm not going to dry it. I'm just going to let it dry naturally. I haven't even brushed it, to be honest. I've put some... Um, I use a Unique One. It's the... Is it by Revlon? It's red. Um, and I've sprayed lots of that in it. Maybe I should brush it. It's a little bit knotty up there. <laughs> um, and I've put some oil in it as well, so... Because my, my ends are normally dry, but my roots are normally oily. So, um, yeah, it's a pain, but it's okay. I might just run the brush through it. Because as you can see. Anyway, so that's that. Um, I am now going to uh, make my magic knot ball. <laughs> um, I've also put dinner on. We're having toad said that earlier on so I've put the potatoes in we're having chorizo potatoes which is uh, baby potatoes cut in half um, with uh, red onion cut into quarters or like segments and then um, a chorizo sausage cut up and put in the oven but the potatoes are put in normally for about half an hour um, with a little bit of oil over the top and then I put the onions in for 15 minutes and then I put the chorizo in for 15 minutes so in total they're in for about an hour and then I'll put the toad in um, in between that time so yeah looking forward to dinner um, I have still been using my calorie counting app and um, all the meals that I've had are still within my calories so I'm really pleased with that and I'm putting like the oil in and if I have butter um, all the little bits and pieces that you don't really realize that add up um, and on there you can actually like produce meals so in future when I do like a spaghetti bolognese or if I do this meal again um, I'll just have to alter the um, weight um, because all the ingredients are already there um, I did it for something else the other day. Oh, chicken bacon pasta we had. I did it for that. Um, so yeah, it is really, really good. I use NutriCheck. Um, it is £4 a month, but to be honest, I think it's really worth it. You, if you go Slimming World, that's like £5 a week. So, And it's working for me. So yeah. Um, so I thought I would just come on and say that my walk was good. <laughs> um, I did really enjoy it. And I wore my trainers and they didn't give me blisters. Um, I was wearing um, knitted socks, uh, so a bit more cushion in my in my shoes, and my feet weren't too hot in in them either, so that wasn't too bad. Anyway, so I'm gonna go and um, make a magic knot ball. Uh, I'm just gonna randomly pick up colours, not even gonna think about it. Just literally, yep, that one next, yep, that one next. Um, so yeah, I've pulled the table closer to me so I can get on with that and uh, see how big of a knot ball we can get and if I can make socks. <laughs> I highly doubt it but as long as I can get like a little bit or should I say a, a, a big-ish bit at the top we should be good so um, yeah that's it for now. 
So it's Tuesday now um, and it is half past, well, 20 to 7. We've decided to come cinema. Uh, Ian wants to watch Fast 9. And, it's a liar. She told me she <laughs> and I don't mind watching it either. So we've she come to the cinema to, to watch Fast 9, which is a film of the Fast and the Furious. And I've seen saga, the others. Saga piece in it. Don't, don't put <laughs> me in it. So I've watched the I'll other. Be, I'll be more famous than she is. Okay. Um, I've what we've watched the other Fast and Furious like a thousand times. So yeah. you make me watch them, Denise. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, right. Oh, when the Fast and Furious channels on the Sky, what's on the telly? Fast and Furious. <laughs> and I don't get the controls. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we've come to cinema. You take the um, from me. We've gone to um, the shop to get some drinks, but Ian bought the tickets online, and you could also buy the um, the popcorn and things like that. So he's done that. So we're just waiting because it's not till seven. We got here really early, <laughs> so um, no doubt we'll have to wait it long enough. Takes hours. Yeah, because the traffic's normally bad, but there was no traffic today. Uh, so yeah, but normally. Um, like it takes ages when you like it says it starts at seven but what's the bit and it starts at like half seven so but anyway but are we gonna make a move in there soon you can do what you want mm, on my own then <laughs> lock you in the car <laughs> that's all right because you want to go watch it anyway <laughs> shut up anyway so yeah we're gonna make a move in there soon Well, hello. It's now Tuesday. I've just filmed a podcast um, and showed all the bits and pieces. Um, but I thought I would show you here anyway, just in case you don't watch the podcast. I don't know. Um, some people might be yarny people. Some people might not. I don't know. <laughs> but I have finished the blanket. I finished this this morning. It's all done. I just need to give it a wash. Um, so it's quite small. Um, obviously, well, I've creased it now. It looks really weird um, but it's quite small and I just want to give it a rinse and soften it up a little bit um, so yeah I have pulled out yarn for the next one which is this which is blue yellow white and grey um, I don't know how I'm gonna knit that yet oh, not knit. crochet that up yet crochets quicker <laughs> so um, but my box I can actually sort of shut the box without having to push everything down and shut it <laughs> so that's that's good um did i tell you about that i can't remember i can't actually remember what i showed last did i show you that i had finished my cowl don't know can't remember i have finished my cowl it's all kitchened up and it's all finished i'm really really pleased with it um so that is it done i have Magic not balled all of the yarn and that is what it looks like. There's 113 grams there so there is enough to make something else. Um, I don't really want to make socks though. I feel sad if I make this into socks. I don't know because they won't match at all. Really really won't match. Um, but anything that I make. I don't really want a hat. I was thinking something to go with this but I, I don't really wear hats. So maybe some mittens or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet um but yeah i'm gonna edit the podcast the weather has just taken a turn for the worst it's absolutely pouring down <laughs> and it looked it felt like you know when it rains and you watch a program that's in like the amazon rainforest or something that is what it looked like <laughs> like in sheets <laughs> um so yeah Today it might look like I'm wearing pyjamas. I'm not wearing pyjamas. This is a dress that I got from Primark, but I feel like I'm wearing pyjamas. I don't know. Um, let me see if I can show you what it looks like. So it's got like a tie here, um, and it just goes all the way. It's really, really long. It just sort of goes all the way down to above my ankle, really. Um, but I just feel like I'm in my pyjamas. It's like sort of bat wing type I don't know it's so comfortable though so it's my indoor lounging type dress but I did say to Casey that maybe this dress would look really nice with white trainers um, and I do have white trainers so I might do that one day when it's not pouring with rain so anyway let's get on edit the podcast 
then what can I do next? I don't know, put all this stuff away. But I need to rinse these and give them a block. But that's not going to happen until the sun comes back out. <laughs> um, so yeah, never mind. Um, I'm not going to block those. Who blocks socks nowadays? Just put them on your feet. <laughs> um, but yeah. The other thing, we went to see the film last night, didn't we? I didn't even um, come back on later on, but it was so good. I think me and Ian at our weight in popcorn. Um, it was like never ending. We, he, he, <laughs> Ian ordered a large popcorn online, like you can order your food and everything while, while you order your tickets. Um, and he ordered a large popcorn, but it just didn't feel like it was going anywhere. Um, yeah, but the film was really, really good. So if that is your sort of thing, Fast 9, it's really good. Um, I enjoyed it. I hate the cinema. I absolutely hate the cinema. And when Ian ever, Ian says, do you want to go cinema? I just go, no. No. I'm not a film person or anything. But I think where I've watched all of the Fast and Furious and sort of followed it. And unless it's a film that I want to see, I don't go cinema. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get editing the podcast good morning guys it's um wednesday <laughs> nearly completely forgot what day it was then um i haven't been up long <laughs> um but uh i've cleaned the kitchen i say i haven't been up long i have i've been awake i just yeah laid in bed for a little while uh this morning so uh last night i decided to bite the bullet and finally finish this which is the Matoana Matoana wrap um and this is how long it is <laughs> so that's that's doubled as you can see the two ends there um so I have another um scarfy thing to wear in the winter <laughs> that is <laughs> really really long um so last night I was or yesterday after um Oh, did I just knit on this yesterday? I can't remember now. Oh, I filmed a podcast, didn't I? So I pulled out this as... Obviously, in the podcast, I finished quite a few items and I was sort of really pleased with how much I finished. Um, so I thought, well, let me get this finished as well, as much as I can. I have three, two and a half balls left over just because I thought I have to finish this. It has to be done. I can't keep going back to it. It's now like nearly July and I'm still knitting on it. So these are the yarns that I have left over. Um, so a bright orange, which is a lot brighter than that in real life. <laughs> um, a sort of neon-y yellow and then this nice greeny colour, which is the last colour that I used on this. So as you can see, started blending it here and it only went up a little bit. Um, but I'm not really that bothered about it. And I, I'm i glad that I've got all of the colours other than the orange in. The orange didn't really flow very well. Um, <clears throat> but the rest of the colours did. Um, and I'm really pleased with it. So I'm going to, again, block this once it is... Um, warm enough I need to weave in all the ends so I'll do that today um, and yeah I'm I'm really pleased with it and I think it will block out quite nicely um, and it will be quite wide even though it doesn't look like it I think it will be quite wide and here you can let me get to the pink you can see the stitch pattern then um, so yeah I think it will be quite wide to either have as a wrap sort of around your shoulders and that like see how wide it goes um have round my shoulders and, and top of my arms or have as a scarf um but I'm really pleased with it and I'm just glad that it's now finished um I cast off just normal cast off I didn't use like a Judy's Judy's Jenny whatever <laughs> Um, I didn't use a stretchy bind off basically, but it's quite stretchy anyway, so it, I just did it really loose. 
but I'm pleased it's done. Um, and the yarns were from Pink Heart Yarns, and it was the 12 days of Christmas. It was the um, 12 yarns, um, and I'm really pleased that I've got the majority of the yarns in one project. Um, I was just getting really bored of the pattern. Um, I don't know, it was just really getting on my nerves to be honest. <laughs> um, it was a 38 row pattern um, or 38 row repeat so it's not like it was short repeat. Um, some of it was obviously repeated as you can see in that pattern, some of it was repeated um, but it was quite long and yeah so anyway that's that, I'm pleased with it, it's done. Um, I don't really have any sort of plans for today as of yet, Ian asked if I wanted to go and get some lunch but I don't really know what's happening with that. Um, he is um, in the yard today because his laptop is um, not working properly and his van's being fixed. Um, the reversing sensor thing wasn't working. There was some other bits and pieces that needed doing as well. So, oh, that's my first bit of coffee today. Um, excuse the mess here. This is the shawl that the lady asked me about. Whoops, this is um, Ollie's girlfriend. <laughs> Whenever he comes round, he gets the baby from the back of the sofa. So I just leave it there for him. Um, and that is a doll that I had from when I was a child. And it is a, oh, it, it had a name. Maybe it's on its butt or something, but um, it's like all balls inside, but the legs are hard and everything. Um, my dad's best friend bought me this when I was a baby. And um, yeah, my mum washed its clothes and everything. It was in the loft. My mum washed its clothes. Um, and then Ollie took a liking to it, and um, yeah, so it's really cute. And I just leave it on the back of the sofa for him. And he plays with this one as well, which Ian won from a um, grab machine at South End. <laughs> so he plays with that as well. And then this is a blanket. Anyway, this is a virus shawl that I made out of um, yarn from Panland, and it is the sort of bluey pinky yarn. Um, it is huge and I made it humongous, um, a lot bigger than a normal, well, I say normal, you can make a virus shawl as big as you want, but um, bigger than my other vir virus shawls because I wanted it to proper wrap around my arms. So as you can see, it really wraps around my arms because I find my arms are what get cold more than anything else, like the bottom of my arms. Um, if I'm wearing no sleeves, I like my arms to be covered. Um, and a normal shawl is more of your shoulders, so you wear it sort of like this, which is fine if it's sort of a um, summer evening or whatever, but I made this thinking I could wear it like, <clears throat> when it was a bit colder, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I would do wear it in here sometimes when it's um, a bit chilly of an evening, especially in the winter, um, but not at the moment. But it just sits on the back of the sofa and it's there but for me to use. And I can always put it over my legs or whatever. So um, yeah, and that's about it. I've rambled on for seven and a half minutes. Um, this might be a long one this week. <laughs> um, tomorrow is Thursday. I really need to get the listings done for the shop Friday. Um, I've got quite a few of those to list up. Um, but yeah, I might knit today a little bit on my socks, which are here, as I've nearly finished everything else. Um, someone also asked me about my jumper. I think that was on the podcast though. I haven't, my flamingo jumper, I haven't even touched it. So I will get that back out and I will have a look at it and see what I want to do. I'm not going to rip it out, um, but I'm going to see what I want to do and um, go from there. It might be that I do it in, in the autumn because obviously I will want to wear it by then um, if it fits. <laughs> uh, but we, we shall see. But that's it for now. If there's anything else interesting today, I'll come back. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. It's one of those 
chill until something happens. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, I will catch you a bit later. Hi guys, it's now Monday the 5th of July. Um, I haven't vlogged since last Wednesday. <laughs> um, nothing's really been happening. Uh, but on Wednesday, I showed you that I finished the wrap. Um, and then I started some baby socks for Ollie. Um, let me just quickly show you. So yeah, um, just little tube socks. I thought they'd be really simple um, and I'd make quite a few for his birthday, which is um, in August. So then they will uh, be perfect for autumn. And I've just done a rib heel. I don't know whether it's in the right place, um, but they took no time at all. And I'm hoping that they will be roughly in the right place. <laughs> Um, so that I can try them on him and I will be fine. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I just wanted to say that I am um, coming on to end the vlog. Obviously I haven't vlogged <laughs> since Wednesday. Um, what has actually been happening? Um, not really a lot. Um, other than <laughs> um, I have booked flights to go and see my mum and dad, which I'm really excited about. Um, which is actually this Friday. Um, so I'm not gonna vlog for the rest of this week, like in between us going that, but I will vlog the holiday and I'll vlog bits and pieces while I'm there and, and whatnot. And I will try and remember to pick up the camera as much as I can. Um, but I am, um, I'm going with my sister. So Casey already had planned to go. And um, so she's going, we're going on the same flight um, and I am coming back on the Thursday after um, so Thursday next week uh, so I'm there for six days I'm really looking forward to seeing my mum and dad haven't seen them for like nine months <laughs> um, so doing everything as we should um, I have um, got to book my te Covid test for when I come back. I will still need to isolate for 10 days when I come back, uh, which is fine. Ian's not coming with me um, because one, it's too hot at the moment. It's really, really hot out there at the moment. Two, he's got to work. And three, he'll have to isolate when he comes back. And um, it's just a bit silly. So um, we're planning on going out there, me and Ian, out there, end of September, beginning of October, when it's a bit cooler as well. And hopefully, um, there's talks about if you've had um, double your double vaccines, you won't have to isolate when you come back. Um, so hopefully that will come into place and then Ian won't have to isolate when, or we both won't have to isolate when we come back, so fingers crossed uh, but I need to book my test for when I come back um, I, I also need to have one while I'm out there um, to come back which I just think is all a little bit silly but it is what it is and whatever um, and then um, yeah I just need to isolate so when I come back um, I am going with Casey in her car we keep we're taking her car to the airport gonna leave it at the airport and then when I come back next week I'll be able to bring her car back so I'll have something to come back in and then obviously when she's ready to come back I can go and pick her up from the airport in her car and whatever so yeah that is what's happening <laughs> uh, but my case is here it's near enough packed um i've just got a few other bits and pieces that i need to put in that obviously i can't at the moment uh but yeah so i just thought i'd tell you that little bit of exciting news um i'm gonna try and take the gopro with me as well so um but like i can just film like when we're in the water and things um my mom's got mum and dad's got a big pool so yeah i'm really excited and looking forward to seeing my mum and dad more than anything um so yeah anyway that's that i'm gonna end this vlog here so the next vlog you will see will be spain vlogs i don't know whether they will be i will upload them while i'm there um or whether i'll wait till i come back and just film as much as i can and then come back and then split it into like parts um i'm not sure obviously i've got I'm going to take my iPad with me um, 
and my dad has got an editing software that I can use and whatever but I don't know we're going I'm going minimalistic so I'm going to take my phone my camera the GoPro and um, my iPad I'm not going to take the laptop or anything like that there's really no need for me to take it my dad's got a computer if I want to use it um, and I just don't think I'll need to take anything like that um, so yeah anyway <laughs> uh, I'll probably come on on Thursday evening I'm not sure when I'll start this vlog but we'll, we'll see I'll start the next vlog so but I'm going to film a podcast now really quickly as my battery is uh, only on one bar so I'm going to quickly film a podcast and um, yeah so I hope you're all well thank you for watching this really random vlog because I don't even know what I filmed so yeah I will catch you all very soon bye